Just by watching any high level gameplay for Battle for the Grid, you can tell that this game is very high damage, but being new to this game is hard. Every move can work together in a character's kit, and it's obvious how they do, but there isn't really a cohesive way to make it fit in without seeing someone else do it. To understand a bit of how it works, let's take a look at Dragon Ball. DVFC is unique in the way that its combos work, utilizing camera shifts to indicate the properties of some moves. You get one smash or launcher, and one knockdown per combo. Aerial Dragon Rush also guarantees a hard knockdown. Vanishes also cause a camera shift once per combo, but use up your smash if you haven't used it already. This leads to combos that look something like this. But how does all this apply to Power Rangers? Per combo, you get two launchers, one ground bounce, one wall bounce, one OTG bounce or off the ground, two spinning hits, which are pretty self-explanatory, one crumple, and the ability to juggle with a certain move a certain number of times. This number varies on the move. There are also some special states that are character specific, such as freezes, but we won't worry about those for now. In order to get a grasp on this system, let's take a look at some gameplay. Alright, so here we see a throw. Every throw in this game is able to be extended off of, so this is a good opportunity to get some damage off and maybe reset. Why is there music playing? That, That is the point of the combo, right? It's getting to the drop. This better not kill. Um, all, alrighty then, we're just gonna move on from that. Now, you may be asking the question, there are multiple OTGs in that combo, but you said there can only be one. How is that possible? Well, I'm very glad you asked, because OTGs and OTG bounces are completely different things. Kind of? This is an OTG bounce, and this is an OTG. Weird, right? There are certain characters, such as Daishi, who can use regular OTGs in combos, but this isn't the case for every character, and most likely isn't universal. Also, certain OTGs don't use the OTG bounce, such as Draken's 6SM. With all that out of the way, let's get into making a combo. For this example, I'll be using my main shell of Chun-Li and Draken. If I have more of a certain state available, the screen will turn green, but if I have no more available, the screen will turn red. Now for the combo. And that's it. It is a very broad term, since the combo system in this game is very complex, but I hope I was able to lessen the studying or individual work needed to figure it out on your own, which is what I had to do when learning it. This game still has so much depth and exploration left in it, so I hope I cleared some things up for people learning the game. This guide was a ton of fun to make, and look forward to more Battle for the Grid in the future. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you later.